Welcome back to Hydrohaven, your go-to source for all things gardening. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of companion planting, with a special focus on everyone's favorite summer crop, cucumbers. Whether you're growing these crisp veggies in traditional soil beds or in your hydroponic setup, understanding which plants make the best neighbors for your cucumbers can dramatically improve your harvest while reducing pest problems naturally. Let's explore the science behind these plant partnerships and how you can implement them in your own garden. Companion planting isn't just garden folklore passed down through generations, it's backed by solid scientific principles. When certain plants grow together, they create symbiotic relationships that benefit one another in various ways. These benefits include pest deterrence, improved pollination, enhanced nutrient uptake, and even better flavor development. At its core, companion planting mimics the diversity found in natural ecosystems. In nature, you rarely find vast areas of a single plant species. Instead, you'll discover complex communities of plants living together, supporting each other's growth and defense mechanisms. These plant relationships have evolved over millions of years, and as gardeners, we can tap into this ancient wisdom to create more resilient, productive growing spaces. For cucumbers specifically, the right companions can address their primary vulnerabilities. Susceptibility to pests like cucumber beetles and aphids, need for efficient pollination, and tendency to compete for nutrients. Understanding these relationships allows us to create strategic plant groupings that maximize the health and productivity of our cucumber plants. Certain plants have demonstrated particularly beneficial effects when grown alongside cucumbers. Let's examine the science behind these beneficial pairings. Corn stands tall as an excellent cucumber companion, and the relationship exemplifies structural mutualism. The sturdy corn stalks provide natural trellising for cucumber vines, allowing them to climb upward rather than sprawling across your garden bed. This vertical growth pattern increases air circulation around cucumber foliage, significantly reducing the incidence of powdery mildew and other moisture-related diseases. Research has shown that this improved airflow can reduce fungal disease pressure by up to 60% compared to cucumbers grown on the ground. Additionally, the different root structures of these plants, corn's deep, fibrous roots versus cucumbers' shallower spreading pattern, means they access nutrients from different soil layers, reducing competition. Sunflowers serve as another structural ally while providing additional benefits. Like corn, they offer vertical support, but sunflowers also act as powerful pollinator magnets. Their bright blooms attract bees and other beneficial insects that will then visit cucumber flowers, improving pollination rates. Studies have shown that cucumber yields can increase by 25 to 30 percent when grown near abundant pollinator-attracting plants. Since cucumber plants produce separate male and female flowers that require insect-mediated pollination, this increased pollinator presence directly translates to more cucumbers. Nasturtiums represent one of the most scientifically validated companion plants for cucumbers. These colorful flowers emit volatile compounds that mask the scent markers cucumber beetles use to find their host plants. Nasturtiums also function as trap crops, attracting aphids away from your cucumbers. Research published in the Journal of Economic Entomology found that interplanting nasturtiums with cucurbits reduced aphid infestations by up to 40%. As an added bonus, nasturtium flowers are edible, adding a peppery zip to summer salads alongside your cucumbers. Radishes make exceptional cucumber companions for multiple reasons. When planted early, their quick growth and harvest cycle means they're out of the way before cucumbers need additional space. More importantly, radishes confuse and repel cucumber beetles, one of the most destructive cucumber pests. The beetles are deterred by compounds in radish roots, and this natural repellent effect continues even after the radishes are harvested. Studies have demonstrated that interplanting radishes with cucumbers can reduce cucumber beetle damage by up to 35% compared to cucumber monocultures. Legumes like beans and peas form another scientifically sound partnership with cucumbers due to their nitrogen-fixing abilities. These plants host beneficial bacteria in root nodules that convert atmospheric nitrogen into plant-available forms. This biological process effectively creates natural, slow-release fertilizer right in your garden bed. Since cucumbers are moderate to heavy nitrogen feeders, this supplemental nitrogen supply supports vigorous growth and higher yields without chemical fertilizers. Research indicates that cucumber plants grown alongside legumes can access up to 20% more nitrogen than those grown alone. Plants that don't play nice cucumber antagonists 
Just as important as knowing cucumbers' friends is understanding which plants make poor neighbors. The science behind these incompatible relationships helps explain why certain combinations should be avoided. Potatoes and cucumbers compete aggressively for the same nutrients, particularly potassium, which cucumbers need for proper fruit development. More concerning is their shared susceptibility to Phytophthora blight, a devastating soil-borne disease. Research from plant pathology labs has shown that disease pressure increases significantly when these crops share space or are planted in succession without adequate rotation periods. Aromatic herbs like sage and basil, while beneficial companions for many vegetables, can actually inhibit cucumber growth. These herbs release allelochemicals, natural compounds that can suppress the germination and growth of nearby plants. Studies have documented up to 15% reduced vigor in cucumber plants grown in close proximity to these aromatic herbs. The very compounds that make these herbs effective pest deterrents for some plants can disrupt cucumber vine development. Melons, despite being in the same plant family as cucumbers, make surprisingly poor companions. When planted too closely, they not only compete for resources, but also increase the risk of cross-pollination, which won't affect this year's fruits, but will produce unpredictable hybrid seeds. More critically, their shared susceptibility to bacterial wilt means that infected cucumber beetles can easily spread disease between plants. Research shows disease transmission rates increase by up to 65% when these cucurbits are planted adjacently rather than separated by non-host plants. Creating effective plant partnerships doesn't have to be complicated. For traditional soil gardens, consider a Three Sisters-inspired approach. Plant corn in clusters, sow cucumber seeds around the base once corn reaches 4 to 6 inches tall, and add pole beans to the grouping two weeks later. This creates a multi-story growing system where each plant occupies a different vertical niche. For raised beds, try a cucumber-radish nasturtium combination. Plant cucumber seeds or transplants 12 to 18 inches apart along one edge of the bed, Sow radish seeds between and slightly in front of the cucumbers, and place nasturtiums along the opposite edge where they can spill over the sides. The radishes will be harvested long before the cucumbers need the space, while the nasturtiums will spread to create a living mulch that suppresses weeds and deters pests. In hydroponic systems, companion planting works differently but is still effective. While you can't rely on root exudates and soil ecology, you can still benefit from above-ground interactions. In NFT or RAF systems, place aromatic, pest-deterring plants like marigolds in separate channels or pot locations near your cucumbers. For vertical hydroponic systems, alternate cucumber plants with pollinator-attracting flowers to improve fruit set. Even in hydroponic setups, the principles of diverse plantings can significantly reduce pest pressure and improve overall system resilience. Companion planting works best as part of a holistic approach to garden management. Healthy soil or nutrient solution in hydroponics, proper spacing, adequate water, and good airflow all contribute to cucumber success. Consider rotating your cucumber plantings each season, even in container gardens, to disrupt pest and disease cycles. Incorporating companion planting into these broader practices creates a robust growing environment where your cucumbers can thrive. The relationships between plants mirror our own gardening community. We grow better together, sharing knowledge and supporting each other's journey. At Hydrohaven, we're committed to helping you understand not just what works in the garden, but why it works, empowering you to make informed growing decisions. If you've had success with companion planting in your cucumber patch, we'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments below. And if you're trying these combinations for the first time, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos on companion planting for other popular crops. Share this video with your gardening friends to spread the wisdom of plant partnerships, and until next time, happy growing!